Hello. And welcome to my blog. Uh, if you are a starting developer or professional or just curious about uh, development in Drupal, welcome to my blog. My name is Edgar, and we are continuing our little exploration on Drupal 9. So for today, we're just going to talk about taxonomy. So taxonomy on according to the Drupal uh, uh, explanation, taxonomies allows you to connect, relate, and classify your website content. Basically, taxonomy is not uh, often used in small websites, but it is more used on large-scale websites and applications. So let's just uh, go deep dive into the, uh, creating a taxonomy so basically what we're going to do is we're just going to create a taxonomy so click on the taxonomy under the structure and then you can add a vocabulary here so vocabulary is a group of of tags for your websites as you can see on the uh, website um admin you can see here that an example for vocabulary is called fruit and then it contains apple and banana something like that so uh, let's just um, check on our content so here we have different kind of, of uh, uh, accounting PDF content type we have health insurance car insurance house insurance and so on and so forth so um, we're just going to add a taxonomy to categorize them so if we look up one of their our uh, content, click the edit. <clears throat> you can see on the very bottom part that there is this category type, which is car insurance. Now this one is not using taxonomy, but rather it is using a different type of of uh, categorization, which is if we go to the content type, manage field. We call it list or float. So in here, I created a list or float. If you uh, check out our previous uh, blog, you can see how we do it. We added a uh, field uh, under under the field setting. We added a uh, allowed value list, which is the car insurance, health insurance, house insurance, and property insurance, which is what is listed here. Okay. So, assuming that there is another f uh, content type that is using the same values as we have here, we can copy this and then put it on that uh, other content type. But, uh, but if we are going to add new types of, of category, we have to copy it from one uh, content type to another. To, so uh, this is where the the taxonomy play uh, will. you can add a vocabulary and then let's call this category yes and then we will add the terms okay so the terms are what we are what is inside the allowed value list like this one so we have the car insurance and in the relationship uh, if you see there's a root and then if we save this it will also be added under the root there we go then we're going to add a health insurance save it house insurance And then the property insurance. Okay. 
So if we look at our taxonomy now, list of terms, we can see that it is uh, <coughs> sorted out as the one that we have here on the uh, field setting of um, categories. Okay. So how do we add this to our content type? So we're just going to go to our content type. So here's the content type, which is the accounting PDF. So then we're just going to add a new field. And then from the from the select type, you're just going to add the taxonomy term. And let's just call this categories. Okay. I name it category so that uh, we will not be confused with the category that uh, field type that we have already. So save and continue, and then from here, you're going you're going to ask if how many is allowed to be selected on our category. So let's, let's just put in put it into uh, one, so it will have just single. Uh, categories for each content and then this will be this is where we, um, the system will ask which kind of taxonomy are we going to use we have the category of tags and category basically if we look at structure taxonomy we have two types of vocabulary which is category and tags which is this one Okay, so we're just going to click the category. Okay, so by default, this is the type of um, uh, what we're going to see on the field. But we're just going to, to change that. Okay, so we have the category, which is a list flow, and we have the categories, which is an entity reference, meaning to say it is linked to the taxonomy so let's go to the manage display and let's go to the uh, categories then click this more icon here okay have this one manage form display and go to categories so it is set by default into autocomplete let's just select the checkbox instead of autocomplete and then save it okay so now if we go to our content refresh this you can see that it has another uh, categories here which is the uh, the listing that we added on the, our taxonomy so we can choose car insurance, health insurance, house insurance, or property. Let's go to car insurance since this is a car insurance and then save it. Then if we look now on the front page, there you go. Now you can see it here, this link, it works similar to hashtag. So if you click the car insurance, it will all list down all those categories that has the car insurance on it. So I think um, you learn something in this um, tutorial. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe or leave a comment if you have any questions. Thank you.